okay, we are delighted to see so many young kids coming down to the range to give golf a go. But here's a short video to provide you a few points, a few do's and don'ts of what you can do with your child to ensure they have the best possible experience. Now number one is to make sure we give them the right size club. So just come and ask us, we'll get them measured up and make sure they're using something suitable. One of the worst things you can do is give a young child your adult clubs and let them have a go. It's almost like they're getting swung by the club instead of having something light enough, short enough and flexible enough so they get the most out of it and no bad swing faults happen. So that's number one. Number two is to just encourage them. Don't feel you've got to over coach them. I see a lot of parents and grandparents where they're getting overly involved, telling them to, worst of all, keep their head down. That's a big no-no, don't forget that. The second thing is they're trying to tell them that they've got to lock their fingers and stand in a certain way. Just let them have a go, but perhaps give them some fun challenges. Now we're here on the range, we've got various targets. So what I would be suggesting would be some way of trying to, let's say, get them to aim the club up and set to a target. So it might be the pallet or a cone, and here is a great little thing for you to do. Get a whiteboard marker, even if you borrow clubs, you can do it, and we draw a face on the club. And what we would say to the kids is the ball will go wherever the eyes of the club face are looking. So you start to get some coaching, but it's not technical, it's fun, it's simple. So when they settle, point those eyes where you want the ball to go, and then when they hit a shot, if it doesn't go to the target, ask your child the question, what do they think happened there? Where do they think? the eyes of the club were looking. We could then ramp this up to level two and say, well, where do we think we should hit the ball out of? Which feature of this face? Should it be the mouth, the eyes, the cheeks? And of course, it would be the nose. You don't need to tell them that, the kids will work that one out. So that's it for me today. Just a really simple point and let the kids just have fun. Let them play, let them miss the ball a few times, I promise you. After the third or fourth attempt, they will have figured out what they've got to do to hit it. You do not need to get overly involved. Just let them play.